السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آن بی ہاف آف مرکز صحابہ دا وائس آف اہل و سنا و جماعہ وی پرزینٹ یو لیسن نمبر ایٹین فورٹی نائن آف آور ڈیلی نصیحہ اینڈ ایڈوائس ٹو ڈے ود دا گریس اینڈ مرسی آف آل میتی اللہ جل ولا وی فوکس آن دا فورٹین آف جماعت الاولا It was on the 14th of Jumad al-Ula, the year 73, the 1st of October 692, that the first son to be born and first baby to be born in Medina Munawwara, Abdullah bin Zubair radiallahu an, he was born, his parents <coughs> were Zubair bin Awam radiallahu an, and Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu an, daughter Asma bin Abi Bakr, So their son was born after the migration of Nabi alayhi salatu salam. Mustafa sallallahu alayhi salam inserted his saliva mubarak in his mouth. How honored they were. The first item to enter into the mubarak mouth of Abdullah bin Zubair was the saliva mubarak and then the date chewed by Nabi sallallahu alayhi salam. And remember Abdullah bin Zubair was still very very young. And he was involved in, participated in the conquest of North Africa during the time of Sayyidina Usman radiallahu an. So remember that he said he will not take allegiance on the son of Sayyidina Amir Muawiyah radiallahu anhu Yazid. And he went to Makkah Mukarramah and there he passed away. And this was, remember, in the year 73 when Hajjaj bin Yusuf killed him. And thereafter he was even crucified. Fight. So these are very, very, you know, difficult times in Islam. So we must mention it so all comes in straight and clear to us. So that happened in the year 73, and his mother told him the golden words, Inna shah talata ta'allam badal in silakh, you go, my son. A goat, a sheep, does not feel pain after it is slaughtered. Let them do whatever you want to. And you go to Makkah, you will find mother and son buried next to one another. Allah grant them Jannah to fear those. Then on the 14th of Jumad al-Ula, the second year after the Hijrah, 13th November, the year 623, the Battle of Ashira took place. Remember, yeah, this battle was such that before it you get the Ghazwa of Abwa, the Ghazwa of Buwat, then the Ghazwa of Ashira, there was no real combat. Remember, it was more that the enemy just surrendered and so forth. So there was no real physical combat taking place, but it happened with Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, hence it's called a Ghazwa as well. 14 Jumad al-Ula, 8.14 after Hijrah, 3rd September 14.11, that according to Gregorian calendar, the treaty of Salim Bria is concluded between the Ottoman Empire and the Republic of Venice. We know Venice is so beautiful. We've been there in Italy. But remember, at that time, they had their own republic and they were also bent in fighting the Muslims and the Ottoman Empire. And many places you will find the Ottomans and the soldiers, the Mujahideen defeated them. How they defeated the Germans, how they defeated the Russians, how they defeated so many of the Europeans, all with the power and the kudrat and mercy of all. Allah, Jalla wala. Today is there any one Muslim country, any Arab country that can say we're going to fight anywhere. So remember, because we have lost lost that iman, that ka iman e kamil, that complete iman, faith and yakin, conviction in the promises of all Mighty Allah. May all Mighty Allah grant the Muslim victory in all parts of the world. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.